Okay, teams, six players in the water. And three, seven. Blue team ready? White team ready? Then let's play. So we're in the game and it started already and uh, Switzerland is on the attack. Um, Morning. Sorry, we have a new spectator here in the uh, monkey uh, monkey box of the commentators. Uh, he's watching the game with me. Okay, let's concentrate here. Zurich is on the attack, uh, going in for the basket of the Italians. Uh, the Italians uh, really had hard games yesterday. Uh, they played, uh, I think, like always against uh, Molde. And Switzerland is trying now to attack from the open side. They lose the ball, and uh, this is a chance for Italy to go in the offensive. We're on the close side. Player is moving to the corner, ready to push away from uh, the wall. Second player comes in right from uh, the middle of the pool into the basket. And it looks like uh, Italy is uh, wide awake. They play very concentrated and the player, uh, one player is coming from uh, uh, the front of the basket and is tackled upwards by an uh, Swiss player, ball is dropping down into the hands of an Italian player and uh, the next wave of the Italians come in. He's coming high on the uh, goalkeeper but again tackled away to the surface right above uh, the Swiss basket and the attack from above. Italians are uh, uh, attacking relentlessly but the ball is pushed away on the open side from uh, the Italian player lost and uh, recovered by a Swiss player. Ball is dropping down in a Swiss player's hand, but uh, intercepted by an Italian player again. It's back and forth here, right close to the basket. And uh, this is always dangerous because the next moment when the goalkeeper leaves the basket, uh, what we saw in the game uh, before with the Mermaids and the Perth Raiders. It can always happen, the game turns around, the basket is empty and uh, it's easy then for a player, a fast player to score on an empty basket. So we're on the surface in the middle of the pool, the cluster is pushed in the direction of the Italian basket. Swiss player has the ball on the surface looking for a teammate he can pass to still on the surface and two players fighting on the close side of the pool Italian player going in taking the wave wall attacked uh, uh, instantly by a Swiss player and now a Swiss player comes in stopped right in front of the Italian pool. We're in the middle of the pool at the bottom. Two players fighting for the ball. And now another Swiss player comes from the close side trying to attack the head of the goalkeeper, but he's uh, tackled away by a defender. Still the ball is in control of the Swiss team. Second wave coming in on the oh, close side, but the Goalie recovered uh, the ball, the Italian goalie recovered the ball and is trying to break freeze on a heavy attack from three players from the Swiss team. And Italy is in ball possession, breaking through uh, into the half of the Swiss. And Italy is already at the basket of the Zurich team. But ball is lost uh, under the basket. The only female Zurich player recovers it call from the down, referee down. holding well without white ball throw, white throw, three throw, holding holding white free throw so Swiss is on the attack 
it's amazing uh, uh, what the Swiss team uh, can pull uh, uh, out of the nowhere, the energy they can pull out of nowhere with nine people playing. Um, sure, they, they, they have difficulties winning a game, but nevertheless, they have uh, played with high spirit and uh, you don't see them breaking in or giving in. Uh, they fight for every uh, play and they are, uh, for me, the, the winner of the hearts of this uh, tournament with nine uh, team plays. And that's the goal. Um, very well done uh, without even much fighting into the gap uh, created by the goalkeeper. He didn't see the player coming or was moving his back and uh, the Italian player scored effortlessly right from uh, right from the front of the basket on down on the bottom of the pool uh, and we have a warning on number white 18 for attacking person on the goal without the ball so the white 18 warning. from the swiss team mm -hmm. has a warning attacking the goal no attacking a person on the goal without the ball So Switzerland is attacking again. I think their strategy is we have to be in the attack, otherwise we will break in the defense. Now there's an attack on the close side. That could be a fit a chance. Uh, the attacker was free, but the defenders came in seconds, microseconds later. And we are at the uh, pool side, on the on close to the corner. And there's fighting, a ball is dropping down, recovered by a Swiss player. And they switch again into attack mode. But it's really difficult with nine players to keep up the pace of the other team, of the other full team. That was a kick of the defender Move in down. the face of a, of a Swiss attacker, of the ball carrier. So it should be rewarded with a uh, free throw. We have a blue warning number 60. Lama number 60. Have a blue warning for kicking. Yeah, number 16, number 16 the defender from kicking. the Italian team was kicking the Swiss player uh, very hard in the face. And a white free throw. And uh, another attack from the Swiss team um, from the close side. And there's another Swiss player waiting on the, the open side. But the, the offensive defense playing from the Italians does not give the, the, the Swiss a uh, chance to break through uh, or even to swim above the basket to pass the ball to the wing uh, player there. Here we go, now they succeeded, the ball was passed under the basket to the player on the open side, but he didn't get hold of the ball, he couldn't control the ball very good, but uh, still the Swiss are in ball possession and it's good play they they do here they have many chances but they didn't succeed in finishing to score another attack and it's amazing how they can keep up this uh, this pace call from the referee we have a penalty shoot oh that's a penalty penalty holding against the basket. holding the basket penalty shoot penalty against the italian team because of uh, holding the basket that's a chance for uh, Switzerland to equalize and go for a 1-1 in this first half of the game against Italy. First penalty shooting of the day. I guess it will not be the last we see today. Now. Move out. Move out. Okay, teams ready? The teams are a little bit le uh, slow to respond uh, to leaving the pool area. And here we go. Penalty shooting of uh, Switzerland in the attack and Italy in defending. The Swiss goalie uh, pushed away the ball from the Swiss player, but it was high above the goal. The Swiss player is going up. It's 25, 24 seconds left. The Italian player stays. The defender stays on the basket. And now the Swiss player is coming from uh, from under the pool. He's under the pool and uh, 
He has succeeded in pushing the ball under the goalie into the basket. And we have a 1-1 in the first half here of uh, Fidenze from Italy in blue against Switzerland from Zurich in white. And the end of the first half. And that was uh, quite an impressive action uh, from Switzerland uh, to keep up with Italy because Switzerland comes with nine players. And it's a 1-1 after the first half, which is uh, will be quite a release. We have uh, here uh, Valentina from uh, Italy with uh, her, what's his name? Ernesto, with Ernesto watching the game, seeing uh, he sees his father playing here in the game. So I'm, I'm curious, I uh, have a question for you, uh, Valentina. Why did no Italian game uh, team uh, show up uh, this year here? Uh, female, yeah, the women. Okay, yeah, that's what happens to a lot of teams. So sadly, Valentina tells me we have no uh, female Italian team here because um, they didn't have enough players to show up. Happens to a lot of teams um, um, in the t in the time uh, uh, from time to time. Players leaving, uh, players having uh, family duties, and it's really difficult sometimes to keep up uh, a team. But uh, Italy always shows up. Uh, at least with the men team and uh, I always remember the times when we went to the Firenze Cup which was one of my favorite tournaments in summer in Firenze open air, open air tournament um, with a nice pool and camping at the poolside great tournament so it's a one-on-one -on -one and uh, both teams are discussing their strategy for the upcoming second half and I guess uh, Zurich is uh, doing their secret uh, plan that they uh, developed exactly for this occasion, uh, how they try to win this game. And Italy, uh, I think Italy is uh, in advantage here. Um, if they keep up the, the speed of the game, they establish they will uh, wear the Swiss players uh, out. There are only nine in the water, and uh, in the second half, for sure they will be tired. We are uh, here with uh, Valentina and Ernesto from the Italian team. So, uh, 17 seconds, 15 seconds left. Time for second half. White team ready. You ready, guys? Blue team ready. Let's play. Team's ready, and we go in the second half. Switzerland against Italy, neighboring countries. They played a lot with each other and know each other quite good. Italy on the attack, going in for the Swiss basket, and they are pushing right, right into the basket, into the goalkeeper from above. The Swiss uh, relief uh, goalie is going in hard to call from the referee, pushing without uh, with the free without holding. ball. White free throw, holding. It was, I think it was the sign was pushing, not holding, pushing off the goalkeeper. So it's a free throw against uh, Italy. No, against Italy, yes. And Switzerland is on the attack. We're in the middle of the pool. And uh, the, the Swiss are very well organized. At least the two players are always down, trying to be there for each other and buying uh, and, and creating the space to pass back and forth. We're now on the surface. Swiss player seems to be uh, stuck there with uh, with an Italian. We don't see where the ball is.
So um, Switzerland still in ball control, coming from the close side of the pool, trying to build uh, the situation where they can put pressure on the Italian basket, coming in from the close side. Uh, the player is uh, uh, tackled to the surface. Ball is on the surface on the close side here. Sorry, I had to catch uh, up a little Ernesto who was uh, wandering away. Okay, Italy is in uh, ball possession and trying to get into the defense of the Swiss basket. On the open side now the attack, but the player kept the ball uh, behind his, uh, with, uh, very open under his uh, body and was snatched away by a Swiss player. But uh, Italy recovered the ball close to the basket of the Swiss players. And now Italy is again on the attack, tackled away by the Swiss. But in this uh, kind of uh, attack, it shouldn't be possible for Switzerland to keep uh, uh, their defense up. But they do quite a well job, I'm impressed. And uh, they even make it to break free. The goalkeeper uh, from the Swiss recovered the ball and is on the surface. Trying to break to the side of the Italian team. And they managed, we're uh, in the half of uh, Italy. Amazing what uh, Switzerland is putting in the water here with nine people playing. From the beginning, uh, it's day three, and uh, it's not only hard with nine people uh, in a game uh, altogether, but after three days of playing, um, it's impressive. So they're still able to put pressure on the Italian basket. So Switzerland is playing back and forth. Now we're on the attack from Switzerland. Uh, at on the goalkeeper from uh, above and this even could be a chance there was a little bit of mayhem and uh, confusion on the Italian basket and uh, quite a big gap right in front of the Swiss player with the ball but he didn't succeed to push it in and uh, the Italians managed to control the situation seconds later but still uh, Switzerland recovered the ball in the middle after a quick fight and is now back at the basket side of the close side of the pool of Italy. Ball is recovered. Still in possession of Switzerland. On the surface now, tackled to the surface. It's an Italian player in ball possession, attacked by a Swiss player. We were in the corner at the surface on the uh, Italian side of the pool. And now the cluster is pushed to the middle of the pool. Ball is free in possession of a Swiss player. But uh, the forechecking of the Italians is uh, very strong. And there's one player trying to break free to a counter-attack, stopped by an Italian player. And now we have, uh, from the open side, a player trying to push on the goalie, passes through the close side. But the Italian defense was up to it. She saw they saw what is coming. And they could prevent the attack from the close side. Back on the surface in the middle of the pool. Fighting there. Both teams uh, seem to be out of breath. And it would be hard it should be harder for the Swiss to keep up. It's still a uh, one one and we have three minutes left in this uh, 3 minutes 30 left in the second game of uh, day three of the Champions Cup 2017 here in Berlin. My name is Wolf and you hear a little bit of strain in my voice after the three days of commentating. Uh, but I try, my best will try 
my best to keep you up to date on um, what's going on here on the screen. Call from the referees, and it's uh, the no death free referee. Throw. No free, throw. free throw for the Italian team against Switzerland. Strangle, I think it's strangle. Yep, strangle it is. No free throws. Blue three throw executed fast by the Italians. Two minutes, 40 left. And now one of the teams uh, should score if they don't want to go <laughs> in the penalty shooting afterwards. And we have another cluster on the surface on the side of the Swiss team. They're on the close side of the, the pool. Ball is pushed down uh, to an Italian players. And the Italians go into attack. The pool, the, the basket was... Uh, empty for a short uh, time. There was a confusion from the Swiss uh, defensive team. Uh, the defender and the goalie uh, were not sure who's, who is who. And that would have been a chance for the Italians to go into the gap. Looks like the ball is on the outside the playing area. We didn't see, didn't see who. Why time out? Time out Why for Switzerland. Out? Here one minute uh, 50 left. And after that, it's a free throw for the white team. Yep. A little start after the timeout. It's a white time, a white three throw. Because of and the after the timeout yeah. of the Swiss team, we will have a white free throw. Okay, team's ready. Refs ready. Two seconds left. No, uh, no time left in the timeout. We're back again in the second half. It's, uh, it's a free throw for Italy. One minute, 53 left in the second half here. Firenze in blue from Italy and uh, Zurich in white from Switzerland. And it's 1-1. One, one. And if we don't have uh, a score within the next one minute, uh, 40 seconds, we will see a penalty shooting. And uh, we are uh, above uh, the Swiss basket. Called from the referee, he points to a Swiss player. Oh, two Wise minutes. 27, two two minutes, minutes time penalty for a Swiss but player for holding the basket. Uh, I think this is uh, the decisive out. moment for Blue Italy to score here timeout for blue they uh, want to make sure they have their strategy right uh, the already uh, weakened swiss team is uh, even more weakened by a, a time penalty of two minutes so we have uh, nine players all together in the, the swiss team and now they have the time penalty meaning five players in the water so this will be hard for them to fight off the attack, and it's the remaining time in this second half. So this is a good chance for Italy to win this game. If they go in with all their force, they... Uh, this is my opinion, they for sure will break down the defense okay, of the Swiss it. team. Okay, time out over, we have a blue free throw. Here we go, one minute, 14 left, and uh, like I said, uh, we have a time penalty for a Swiss player for holding the basket. So in the remaining time, in this uh, second half, 
Switzerland will play only with five players in the water. And Italy is on the attack, trying to get in from the open side of the basket. But uh, Switzerland is putting quite a fight here. They are holding on to the, their defensive positions with their teeth. And they're doing quite a good job to interrupt any attacks attempt of uh, the Italians and even uh, succeed pulling away uh, the ball, controlling the ball. Call from the referee. I'm impressed by the performance we see here from the Swiss wide team. Free throw, wide free throw. Attacking for uh, free throw. Switzerland. Attacking and that's a chance. 18 man. seconds left in this second half here in this game. And we saw a time penalty for Switzerland. So Switzerland is with uh, five people in the water. Time is counting down. And we will see a penalty shooting. Amazing, amazing uh, performance by the team from Zurich. No, there's no penalties. Oh, well, it, oh yeah, it is. It's penalties? Yes, it's yes. time penalties, uh, dear right, sorry, referee. I sorry. Was missing one goal. Okay, then we have penalties. So it's 1-1. One, one. Penalties. couldn't predict what will happen now. Um, the way the Swiss team played, they are uh, unpredictable what they are capable of. Um, I don't know the player from Switzerland, although uh, some of the players from uh, Italy. Uh, open, open end for me. Couldn't predict any outcome. Uh, don't know who's the better team in throwing penalties. Um, but uh, the way I, s I heard about the Swiss uh, team, they are uh, they were in this uh, state of mind: nothing to lose, everything to win. And this could give you an edge. They have nothing to prove. They made it through the whole tournament with nine people, and. Uh, if though they didn't win a game, they uh, made a point not giving up. Blue. So, uh, first attacking blue player from Italy and uh, the Swiss player is defending. Here we go, first penalty and the Italian player uh, is trying to get uh, under the Swiss defender. Swiss defender is wrapped around uh, the neck of the Italian player. Ball was loose, but the Italian player could recover it. Now they fight in front of the basket. And uh, they were high above uh, the basket fighting for the, the ball. And the Italian player could uh, get the ball free and throw it uh, from a distance into the basket. So we have uh, yes. two, one lead for Italy. And it's now up to Switzerland to equalize. Teams ready. If they don't succeed, uh, Italy will win this game. Here we go. Switzerland is attacking. Uh, can we please see the picture of the penalty in the... Uh, thank you. Okay, Swiss player is going in. I don't know where, who it is. I don't know him. He's coming from under the basket. That's a quite good position to score. Yeah, he scores. Very well done. The Board defender didn't 18, succeed 18 uh, on keeping the attacker away or controlling the ball. So it's 2-2. Uh, and the penalty shooting goes on. And it can 35. go on quite a while. Teams ready? And here we go, Italy attacking again. Coming on from above, uh, he's trying to come from the wild side under the goalkeeper. He succeeded quite well, but uh, the Swiss goalkeeper did a good job uh, keeping his body in between the 
goal and basket and um, attacker. Now another attack, the Italian player tried to take a breath and the Swiss player succeeded. The, the Italian player tried to throw the, uh, the ball, but the uh, Italian player, no goal. Saved by no goal. goal. Saved by the goalkeeper. And the Italian player tried to throw the ball, uh, but uh, he missed. 84. And the Swiss player recovered the ball and brought it to Why the surface. 84? Wow. After uh, three days of playing with nine, uh, with a team of nine, impressive performance. And uh, the next. Teams ready? The next uh, penalty, if the Swiss player succeeds, Switzerland will win this uh, game against Italy. Swiss player tries to come in from uh, under the basket, but is tackled by the Italian player. They both go up to the surface. The Italian player is not allowed to uh, fight with the Swiss on the surface like this. He's not in ball control. Um, both Referees show advantage. Time is ticking, 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Calls from the referee. Italian player was not in ball control. Blue 33, two minutes. Uh, it's a repeat the penalty because the Italian player was uh, uh, foul playing by uh, fighting on the surface Blue with the attacker. The we have a new penalty. So he's uh, out two minutes. Yeah, it's because he has got two minutes. Uh -huh. Number 21. Well, why he's out? Because he's out. Okay, team's ready. So repeat, Switzerland has another chance. And uh, there's a new goalkeeper. And the attacker is coming down from above, trying to get under the basket. He does quite a good job, but is tackled by the Italian player. Um, and uh, the Swiss player tries to uh, have a free ball, try to push it over the head, goes up to the surface, takes a breath now, and is waiting there, 22 seconds. I think it's Gabriele from uh, the Italian team, and the attacker comes from, uh, and that's a good chance. He succeeds, and Switzerland is winning the last game here against Italy. Uh, the Italian defender, the goalkeeper, was out of breath, so it's... Uh, it's a two, it's a three, two win for Switzerland. Impressive, impressive performance from uh, the Italian team.